Hey, what's up, Daily Dose? It's Sunday, it's Courtney, and you're watching Daily Dose of LGBT. First off, I want to say that I really hate apologizing for making bad videos or looking bad in my videos, but I am going to say that I'm not going to give this video as much time and respect and effort as it should have. I've had kind of a rough last few days. Wednesday, I had a very tragic, scary thing happen to me. Um, I'll put a link to that video right here so you can come back and watch it after this video or I'll put it down here so you can just watch it whenever you want. It's it's kind of scary but anyway let's get on with this topic. This week's topic as you've seen from the videos before me is most frequently asked questions from straight people about my sexuality. and. We've all kind of had the same answers, you know, because a lot of straight people ask the same straight questions to us gay people. Uh, like others have said before me, the biggest, most frequently asked question that I cannot stand is, which one of you is the man? To demonstrate this answer to this question, I'm going to show you a skit that I did in a video previously. So, now. Well, I ain't got a dick, and last night I sure as hell was sucking on a clip. So, we're both one man. I have people ask me that question. How did you have a baby if you're gay? Well, you know, the answer's simple. I mean, think about it. I'm still a woman. I still have woman parts. They still work fine. Just because I play with other women's parts doesn't mean I cannot... I do not have the ability to get pregnant. Now, granted, I do know what they're asking, but at the same time, is it really any of their business? I mean, do I really have to tell a straight person my situation and how I became pregnant and how me and my girlfriend were blessed with a beautiful two-year-old daughter? It's none of their business. And for all of you out there, no, I was not dating a man. No, I was not married to a man. No, I was not in a relationship with a man before I met Ashley. You know, everybody keeps saying that they they were asked oh is this just a phase are you gonna grow out of this nobody's ever asked me that actually I've had some people tell me I'm doing it for attention but never are you going through a phase or you know anything of that nature I do get situations where a guy will ask me on a date or for my phone number or something like that and I'll explain to him that I'm not interested in him I'm seeing someone else and he said and and I'll have the response well it must not be serious because he hasn't given you a ring and I say well she did give me a ring but I don't wear it to work and then the response is you're gay question mark you know and I'm like yeah are you sure yes yes I'm sure I'm gay I've never been asked how do you know you're gay because I get well you just haven't had the right dick yet or um, Oh, people do, when they find out I'm gay, they do ask me if I had a daddy in my life growing up. Yes, I did have like two dads in my life, three, three dads in my life growing up. But definitely not the reason I was gay. Well, do you know it's a sin? I mean, according to your Bible, I know it's a sin, but I don't follow your Bible. I get people saying, can y'all stop holding hands in front of my child? I've had that happen. I've, I've had them ask me, how do you two have sex? Because your idea of sex is just foreplay for me. And then they're like, well, if you use a toy, like a strap-on or a dildo, then you might as well be having sex with a man. And truthfully, it's a big difference. That's coming from a girl who has slept with a man. It's a big difference. All right, guys. This is it with my video. If you want to watch the video of the tragic incident that happened to me on Wednesday, go here and watch that video. And don't forget, guys, rate, comment, and subscribe. I will see you all next Sunday.